like, yeah, you can, actually. <laughs> and it was really good. Was. Keeping hydrated in summer's heat is key, but it doesn't always have to be what you drink. Nutritionist and founder of Sprout Right, Leanne Phillips and Webb, is here with tips for packing lunches that hydrate and are heat resistant. And that's a really important thing for a lot of these lunches because they is. sit there for hours. They do, they do. You've got to have a great lunch bag. You've got to have your ice packs. I've got a few different ones um, down the front here. If they get a little bit too cumbersome, the kids don't like taking it or, yeah. you know, as an adult, if you're outside all day or anything like that, you've got to have that going on. For sure. Day camps, parks, whatever. Look at yeah. this. This is a snappy little lunch bag. That lunch bag. bag, when you squeeze it, it's full of the same gel that they have in the ice pack. So you put the whole thing in the freezer, fill it up, and then that will itself actually stays cold. So that's perfect to start with this yes. one. Yes. This yep. is cute. Great insulated lunch bags. You're going to find most lunch bags are going to have some insulation in there. Yeah. So okay. very, very important. And talking of insulation, having an insulated um, water bottle. So in something like this, it's so important, slightly larger, put your ice cubes in there, jazz it up a little bit. But when you have more of an, um, an insulated one, like it will one. keep it hot or cold. Okay, perfect. So that, that kind of keeps and you these, going through I looked the, at that right away. These are the cutest little drink boxes they ever. They are, yeah. So they're called drink in a box. And, you know, landfills are full of so much stuff, including juice boxes. Yeah. Now, as a nutritionist, I always tell parents for their kids or even for themselves, you have to dilute your juice at least by half. Yeah. So what you could do, this is one of those sort of smoothie products that you can just pick up. Actually, just dilute that by half. Makes it a little bit more interesting, but it's just pure fruit. And they're just getting more water. And then water. you can put that in there and then fill it up with water and here I've got some cucumber and mint which will make something different and then also some strawberries and then some blueberries in there and these guys also come with their own little ice pack or if you wanted to write on the back mm -hmm. on the back a little you know a little little love note to your for, child uh, or whatever for, you know for but your that's child a good thing too because some of the the juice boxes that we have aren't necessarily all that hydrating then they're really not. No, your coffee, you, you go you go off and you think, okay, I'm, I'm yeah. so thirsty. You go and get your chilled coffee or your chilled whatever. It is actually dehydrating to your body, yeah. as is juice. Something like coconut water here, completely hydrating. Fill, you know, you can get really big ones of these now. Fill those juice boxes up for the kids or your insulated bag before, you, uh, your bottle before you go out. So fruits and vegetables. So obviously we should be eating tons of yeah. those, but doing this, you know, researching for this segment, all of these here are over 90% water. Really? So all it makes it so much more interesting. So cucumber, we kind of think of yeah, that a little as more being obvious. Yeah, a little more obvious, but the broccoli, and look at that beautiful purple cauliflower, it's from Ontario right now. Um, and then also I've got a butter one here as well. Tomatoes, they can go into anything. Got some beautiful, um, colorful carrots mm -hmm. at the front. Just put it in a container with some dip or something like that. Um, all of these, celery, put a little bit of, um, you know, almond butter or peanut butter in it for the kids, jazzes it up something a little more bit. To it, yeah. And then of course fruits, star fruit, that's an interesting one. That would be a lot of fun to have for a change. for sure. But these are Ontario strawberries. I can't get enough of those right now. Mm. And then watermelon, pop it into a blender, blend it up. I've put a little bit of mint in here okay. and then pour that into your water watermelon bottle. Watermelon juice is it really is great. It is so, so tasty. And also it's different. You yeah. have to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Um, and then over here, oh, these are these, these little, you know, I call them squidgy packs with fruit oh. inside it. Put them in the freezer. They're so overnight. overnight. Really? And then in the morning, then pop them into the lunch bag. So it not only acts as, you know, like that, that ice pack yeah. over there, but then also these ones here, they're just a silicone one. So if you want to make your own or just blend up your, yeah. your um, uh, watermelon and pop that in there, then as it defrosts, they can just squeeze it and drink it. And that's like a little freezy in and of itself. It you know, is. Those ones you use exactly. Put in the I love those. That's right, but so natural. So when you're getting all of these natural mm -hmm. hydrating foods in there, then it, it just makes such a difference. And these are cute little lunch you know, containers yeah, great, as well. Great containers, fill them up with all sorts of stuff. And if you just um, look over there with a little homemade burger I've got, that actually oh folds my. up. And the That's ice, the, the sandwich the right iceberg, here? Yeah, the iceberg lettuce, again, super hydrating. I'm not a massive fan of the iceberg yeah. thing because it hasn't got as many nutrients, but I've got some beautiful spinach around there and that all folds up and that is the is, is for the sandwich. Right by itself, that's yeah. terrific. All yeah. right, thanks so much, Leanne, great idea, in. stay hydrated out there. Will do. You'll find more of Leanne's tips on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.